My name is Jiang Bin Ye. I'm an assistant pro professor in the Department of Radiation Oncology at Stanford University. So, Wobbly effect is a metabolic hallmark that is observed in all cancer cells. Uh, it means the conversion of loss of glucose into lactate instead of using those glucose for oxidative respiration. It has long been an enigma why cancer cells choose such inefficient way to produce energy, wasting all those lactate byproducts. Until in the uh, 1950s, uh, after 30 years of research and thinking, uh, Warburger conclude in his milestone review that the consequence of the Warburg effect is the highly differentiated body cells are converted by this into undifferentiated cells that are the cancer cells. So this theory connects the metabolic hallmark of cancer, the Warburg effect, to the essence of tumor genesis, the differentiation. So how can metabolism regulate gene expression and differentiation? This is a great question. This lack of understanding was a major reason that why most of the scientists before, even including Ralph Warburg's most accomplished trainee, Hans Krebs, did not believe in Warburg's theory that the Warburg effect was the prime cause of cancer. Fortunately, uh, Recent research advancement have revealed that there is a missing link between the metabolism and differentiation, which is epigenetics. It turns out that many metabolites can serve a substrate for epigenetic regulations to control gene expression and cell fate. Understanding the epigenetic connection between the Warburg effect and the differentiation is essential for guiding the development of novel cancer therapies. Our goal is to decipher the mechanism by which metabolic therapy can induce tumor differentiation. This is the groundwork for transforming cancer cells back to their normal state rather than killing all those cancer cells. Uh, recently, we discovered that mitochondria on coppers can trigger a global metabolic reprogramming, thereby remodeling the epigenetic landscape and redifferentiate the cancer cells. The few mitochondria on coppers have demonstrated anti cancer activities in preclinic studies. Particularly, uh, the one we used, necrosomide, is an FDA approved drug with excellent safety profile. So compared to the first-line chem chemo drugs, nicotinamide exhibits much milder side effect. So these findings uh, position nicotinamide as a more specific and effective epigenetic uh, therapy for cancer treatment.